Today we're going to learn about Peter Reynolds. He's an author and illustrator of children's books. That's the person who writes the words and draws the pictures of the books. He has written many books including The Dot, about a little girl who's afraid to draw, Ish, which is about a little boy who won't stop drawing. He also wrote the book Rose's Garden, The North Star, Best Kid in the World, Sky World, and My Very Big Little World, to name a few. Not only does he write and illustrate his own books, he also illustrates books for other authors as well. Some of the authors he has illustrated for include the Judy Moody books, Judy Bloom's Fudge books, and also Stink, the Incredible Shrinking Kid. His books have been translated into more than 20 languages and also Braille. Reynolds was born March 16, 1961. His parents were very artistic and they had tons of art supplies everywhere. Peter says that growing up, his kitchen cabinets held more art supplies than they did groceries. He was not a traditional learner. He was always doodling and drawing in class. He was a slow reader. Peter says, I think I was born with a pencil in my hand and I never put it down. He did graduate from Fitchburg State College and he spent a year at Massachusetts College in Art Design. Reynolds has a twin brother and they are very close. They work together to make children's books. Peter writes and illustrates them and Paul, his twin brother, sells and markets them. They started a company named Fable Vision that produces educational films, books, and computer software. The company is located at the Boston Children's Museum in Boston, Massachusetts. They begin each day together with a cup of coffee, working on their many projects. People say that they often finish each other's sentences. In their offices, you can find a jumble of toys, gadgets, and fun furniture. His company works with other companies like PBS to develop computer software, videos, and television segments for shows like Sesame Street. Peter likes to write books about children being brave and creative and making their own way in the world. His book, The North Star, is about a boy finding his own path out of the swamp of life. The book is for kids who don't fit in or don't get it, he says. Peter spends much of his spare time supporting schools, caring for homeless children, promoting literacy and learning in every way that he can. He tries to inspire each of us to use our gifts and to make our life more meaningful. Reynolds says that there usually is like a lightning bulb moment when an idea is formed. And that's how he got the idea for the book, The Dot, for example. He fell asleep, and when he woke up, he had made a mark or a dot on his paper that had mushroomed into one big giant black dot. And then he wrote the words by Peter H. Reynolds beside it. He says that the more relaxed he is, the better the art comes out. Peter writes in his journal every night. He draws or writes what he's thinking about, what he wants to remember, or what happened that day. He likes to make his own doodles and drawings. He loves creating on his pages in his journal. And then he goes back and he gets ideas for his stories or his characters by rereading his journals. He looks for people and interesting things that he remembers from his journals. He said that he has a dream of one day having a library that would have loads of books and equal amounts of blank books. He was at a great big wall of empties waiting to be filled, and he'd have buckets of pens and glue and paint ready to create. When asked about writing children's books and the characters that he creates, he says, I don't write or make children's books, though they may look like them. I try to make books for all ages. They just happen to have big images and a few words sprinkled below. Books are a way of dipping wisdom in a story. The character that Peter feels most connected to is Vashi from The Dot. He says that Vashi is very much a part of me, of my mission. 
I try to inspire those around me to be brave and to make their mark. Little Vashi packs a powerful punch of creativity and bravery. I'm hoping that children, and as I like to call them, grown-up children, will be moved as they read my work. Moved to laughter, to tears, to insight, to reflection, to bravery, to originality, to inspiration, and best of all, to action. I want them to put their dreams into action. I want them to find the time, the tools, and the inspiration to let the world hear their voices.